Welcome to my video page. This is Dave Johnston with Aquatech. Today we're going to show you some quick tips and tricks on proper sprinkler care. Today we're going to talk about valves. You have three valves here. These are anti-siphon valves. This is your solenoid. These are solenoids. This is what the clock sends a charge to. That's what receives the current, the charge from the controller. That opens up, lets water in your diaphragm. The diaphragm, it opens up the diaphragm. The di water flows through and out to your sprinkler system. Here you have your flow control. This you can turn the water down, oh, probably 85 to 90 percent of the water. It doesn't really close it off usually. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. More, more of the time they don't turn it off completely. Over here is a bleeder. You can use this to flush out the valves. It doesn't always work but sometimes it will work and get some debris out of there. Now you can use these bleeders for if you have a, if your valve's leaking and you hear water coming through and you see water dripping out one of the lowest heads, which is called weeping, you can come over here, take a screwdriver, open this up a little bit, not too much because it'll fly out and you'll lose it. Just open it up and it sends water through. It flushes out the diaphragm, flushes out whatever is in there, usually, not all the time, and then you close it tight. Here's your valve. This is your anti-siphon device that prevents water from going back into the system. Valves are real important. This is what it can happen with a valve. This is probably 90% of the time is what I'm called out for, and that's for a, a bad diaphragm. The diaphragm inside here, this is what opens up and releases the water to go to your sprinkler heads. When that is blown out, old, worn, or just shot out, um, the clock will no longer control that. The solenoid won't control it, it's gone. This is your flow control. This can turn your water down to a certain amount. You can turn it down a little bit with this, but that's about it. You just have to replace the valve, put a new one on. You can attempt to cut this valve off and put it together, but if you've never done it before, you're probably gonna have a very difficult time. That's when you can just call me. I'll come out, I'll take a look at it, I'll give you a free estimate and we can take it from there. For more information, visit me on my website or follow me on Facebook. Thank you for watching. I hope to hear from you soon.